Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for you today. This is a continuation of my updated in-depth guide series, we're on to Quantum. As per usual, the pinned comment is going to be all the timestamps to the direct section. So if you're looking for just the single target might, the melee might, single target prec, quantum controller, uh, melee might, or melee prec, uh, all those timestamps are going to be in that pinned comment. So you can skip right to the section that's relevant. Uh, basically, the as I mentioned in my gadgets guide, uh, this is this in-depth updated guide series is going to focus on just the relevant changes. Uh, just going to be straight to the point. Uh, there's not going to be a bunch of extra footage or a bunch of extra testing. You can link to the actual uh, previous quantum guide for that type of videos and that type of introduction to more like tips and tricks. Uh, this is going to be updating all the relevant uh, rotations so they're more current. Uh, and that's basically what this updated guide series is going to entail. So hope you guys enjoy. Take care. Thanks for watching. Okay, so in terms of quantum might, in terms of the spec, no surprises, super powered spec, critical attack chance, damage, uh, maxing up might and power. You can put five into precision just to proc the extra percentage point just for weapon tap damage, that's all it is. Um, everything else into health, iconic powers, you'll need robot sidekick. You don't really need sonic cry, uh, it's a power you can sub in, but uh, once again, not necessary. Super speed, you need to take whirling dervish. Uh, weapons, basically you're just taking enough to have the, the weapon pro proficiency. Now, in terms of loadouts, um, we'll kind of we'll touch on the gear first as well. Actually, uh, weapon obviously blast adapter, uh, supercharged oblivion, uh, escalating might, uh, accelerated time bomb. This one's not as important for the uh, melee rotation, but it's very important for the single target rotation. You need accelerated time bomb to make the cooldowns line up. Uh, so that you need to have that background, at least for the single target. It doesn't matter for the might, as you'll see, but uh, it is very important for the single target. Chest mod, you know, penetrating strikes, leg mod doesn't matter. Uh, trinkets, whatever you're running. In terms of the artifacts, not, something similar, soul amplifier, uh, eye of the Gemini. Uh, the Grimorium, this is the most important artifact for quantum in general. Doesn't matter for precision, doesn't matter for might. Uh, quantum suffers from a PI problem. Now what I mean by that is that you got gravity well, gravity well is a good dot, sets up gravity on charge, but it's not you know practical in raids because it's a 12 second dot, ads are going to die, you can't move it around. Uh, so then you got no PI, and then just because quantum powers benefit so greatly from the PI, you always need that set up. Singularity, terrible dot. It's just it's a three second cooldown uh, sets up graviton charge, so you need that for the PI setup, but it's just a terrible damage power. Uh, and then in terms of that, there's no other powers that set up graviton charge. Destabilized, once again, not really the best powers are on the stabilized power tree. Uh, anomaly, once again, weak dot. You just use it because the supercharge generator it sets up to stabilize. Uh, and there's one other move is a time shift. Yeah, time shift sets up to stabilize. Time shift, don't use time shift. Time shift um, does okay damage, but the the range on it, the radius on it, is absolutely terrible. Uh, if you see time shift on somebody's loadout, uh, they're doing way less damage on actual raids. So basically, if I'm using time shift. Let's just go up to the targets here. So if they, there's a whole bunch of ads here, I use time shift, boom. Okay, there's eight targets, I only hit two of them. You know, if I stand over here, what am I gonna hit, uh, what, one, two, maybe four of them? You hit five. So time shift's cone is very, very, very conic. Uh, it's the same thing, so if I'm here, yeah, I can hit all three. If, say if I'm up close like this, once again, boom, I'll hit two. So I'm not, even if I'm standing in melee range, I'm not hitting all three targets. So time shift it sets up the PI for the stabilize, but it's just a terrible power in terms of its range. Uh, you you not be hitting all adds, so just don't use time shift. Uh, so once again, I think that's about it. We've got yeah, time shift, anomaly set up to stabilize. There might be some other one that sets up to stabilize somewhere, but uh, once again, it'd be dare, a terrible dot power anyway, so don't worry about it. Uh, so basically, a cure wave is great from the PI effect. The lift obviously benefits greatly from the PI. Gravity bomb, the base damage on gravity bomb brings it to about sonic cry level uh, with the PI. And then obviously time bomb benefits from the PI. So it's you've got all these powers that benefit from the PI, but quantum itself doesn't set up pi PIs very well, uh, prior interactions. Um, so that's why we have this, this artifact here, which sets up graviton charge just by being at rank 160. So if you're going to be quantum DPS, if you want to care about your damage and care about your... your um, 
you know, proficiency with quantum. This is a 100% artifact you require for melee, for single target, for prec, for prec single target. Uh, it's just one of the most powerful um, artifacts for quantum because you have the ability to use the PI for single target or AOE without actually needing to waste a power setting it up because the powers that set up the PI for quantum are subpar. Uh, so this is why you see in this loadout, I'm not running anything that sets up the PI. So basically I have time bomb, time bombs not because basically with this artifact here. So we'll kind of get into the, like a brief little lesson on the Gnorium. I'm not in combat right now. I'm in combat. Pet still hasn't summoned. Now the first attack I do in combat, now it summons and now it sets up the PI. So this is why you don't necessarily want, you don't want to put like, you know, a wave or lift or something first because the PI is not going to be out yet. So time bomb, if I do like a weapon tap, a time bomb, it's not going to set up the pet right away. So that's why you do dervish. So basically you do the dervish, uh, foot cancel, which I'll show you in a sec. And then basically by this time, then you have the PI set up from the pet. And then you've got your three powers that benefit from being graviton charged. So the most important aspects in terms of mods, uh, accelerated time bomb, like I said, very important, but the dashing combos foot mod. Uh, this is gonna be in your generator mod. So basically tap melee to perform a dash attack combo following vortex trap, tornado pull, cyclone post, dervish, whatever, or phase dodge. Uh, so basically uh, when I'm talking about being like a foot cancel, this is what I'm talking about. So basically after I'm using dervish, I'm tap melee to cancel dervish with a technique like a weapon tap, but the actual uh, combo itself. So if I do Dervish, so if I do Dervish regularly without canceling it, this is what I'm doing. Yes, it is amazing damage. You, your vulnerable interrupt takes a little bit of time, so you can still hold Dervish the entire time. Like it's amazing damage and doesn't split very well, or splits very well. Sorry. So as you saw with like my fire rotation, I'm using Dervish the entire time. But uh, if I do a foot mod, so I'm basically I'm going to tap melee next time I do Dervish here. So Dervish cancel. So I got an extra, an extra hit of damage, that 6k damage from Dervish uh, because of the foot mod. So the foot mod actually does damage. As you can see there, it's like 5.9 right there. Uh, so the foot mod itself, I could weapon tap cancel it. So I could do Dervish, you know, weapon tap cancel. But you saw my weapon tap did like, you know, 2k because obviously I'm not a prex, I'm not prex spec as might. So if I do Dervish with a foot mod, there, the foot mod just crit for 12k. So the, the foot mod itself, or basically the dashing combos foot mod, does some great damage itself and it cancels dervish so this is one you'd want to use as might dps uh prec dps oh, you'll see a little bit later in the video there which is weapon tab canceling dervish but if you're might dps you want to use the foot mod for that extra bit of damage so that's essentially the loadout there uh essentially you're just doing left to right and then procking in time bomb whatever it's off cooldown so basically you just dervish is setting up the um giving you some time for the pi and then you're just rotating pi powers so we'll get into the, the actual rotation here to show you what it looks like. Okay, so for quantum melee, uh, was that 43, 42, 48, 40? The only difference is really going to be hit counter. So obviously you see 62, 63, very similar. And then the highest parse at 73. That's just more how many lift, arts, uh, lift dots you're getting per parse, uh, how many time bomb hits. Are we getting a couple time bombs in that second parse? If Dervish uh, got a little bit extra hits. So that that's basically what's going to determine it. Uh, obviously it, the crit chances are pretty similar, 22, 19, 21, 18. So very similar crits is just depending on how many hit counts you're getting per 10 second parse. So over like a 30 second parse, it's a bit more averaged out. So like a 43, 42, and a 48 over 30 second, you know, it's closer. It's like a 44 or 45k parse, uh, which is, you know, not the greatest, not the worst, as quantum has always been like kind of right in the middle uh, in, in terms of damage. 
Um, the really the only way Quantum was a little bit better was uh, back where the Gemini meta. Uh, as you can see, I'm not running Soul Cloak, so my supercharge generation is a little bit weaker in terms of Oblivion. But it, it's in the old meta with Gemini meta, uh, when all the tanks and healers were using it, you could just have Oblivions like back to back to back because you're getting all the extra supercharge regen from the tanks and from the healers. Now with those changes, there's not too many people running those um, Gemini circles anymore. They're running different artifacts. Uh, so you're not getting as much supercharge generation. So th there's no need to focus purely on an Oblivion earning a loadout uh, using like Anomaly because it's all weaker powers. So yeah, I could parse it like, you know, barely 40. Like if I'm parsing it like, you know, 37, 38K uh, with Anomaly earning Oblivion a little bit faster, but I'm parsing it like, you know, 43, 48K with this rotation, uh, the difference is going to be making it up. So if I'm averaging like another five, 6,000 damage per second more than your Oblivion earning rotation, uh, overall it's still a damage loss because you're going to have to be getting way more Oblivions than I would just to make up to cover that gap because I'm earning, I'm doing an extra, you know, 67,000 damage every second more than you. Uh, so basically, there you go in terms of that rotation. If you're not super speed movement, technically you can put in Sonic Cry. Obviously, it's a damage loss compared to super speed, but as you'll find, kind of a common theme throughout the super speed, just, you know, does its heads and tails better for quantum. So in terms of the quantum single target, uh, this one, once again, relies heavily on having the Grenorum. Uh, if you have this uh, artifact, it applies the Graviton Charge. So it basically saves me wasting either Singularity or Gravity Well. Uh, so basically, I can go right into Time Bomb, lift, basically lift with Graviton Charge. We'll set up the dots on everything around it, as well as the base damage on lift is still very high for single target. Uh, Gravitonic Field is a high hitting uh, single target dot. Obviously, Heat Vision, Robot Psychic for some extra damage because with that accelerated Time Bomb mob in my, in my back mod, uh, you need that for this rotation where the cooldowns won't line up. This way you can just, you know, hit these for four powers continually right in a row cooldown wise and, and animation wise. Uh, and that gives you the extra robot psychic damage because there's really no point to run anything else. Uh, and then focusing on that. So uh, if you don't have the artifact at 160, it doesn't matter as much because the uh, Grimorum uh, at 120 applies the PI on single target and does the pet damage. So uh, you need it 160 for AOE melee but uh, or range, but uh, for the single target, you technically only need it at 120. Okay, so the target died, later, died there at the end. Oh, still got effect attacking. Okay. Uh, so what we end up there with? 23, 24, 23, 20 on terrible crits. Even the 23 is terrible crits, 11, 12. Uh, 26, 29. So uh, as you can see, when you get even normal crits on like lift and time bomb and heat vision crits, you know, you're getting 26, 29, almost 30k uh, at a much more reasonable crit chance where if you're getting nothing to crit, uh, like 12, 11, 16, you're getting lower 20. So even still like mid 20s, like because it would average out here 20. Uh, so with a tw 23, 24 and 23, that's like a 24k parse over 30 seconds the next one would be 20 26 and 29 that'd be closer to like a 25 26k par so you're right in the middle of being like mid-range prec to uh, half decent so by no means is, is uh, quantum single target might a slouch 
Uh, it's not amazing. It's not the bottom. It's it's a right above like pretty good tier. It's not like I would say it's above middle tier, but uh, still same thing. 24, 26k, even a 29k parse, uh, even 20% crit is unreasonable. But uh, that's still very good for uh, might single target. Okay, so in terms of quantum precision, uh, this is going to be the uh, melee version of the extra loadout. So in terms of spec, obviously it's going to be weapons experts, uh, critical attack damage, uh, critical attack chance, max chance precision, putting the rest into might and power. Uh, in terms of iconic abilities, you're taking robot psychic and neo venom boost. Uh, if you're not super speed, which I'll get into in a moment, you can take like sonic cry, some other abilities as well. Uh, super speed, this is where um, it makes a huge difference. Now, uh, it's just a general, in general, uh, super speed movement is one of the most ben beneficial movements for precision in general out of everything. Uh, and that's just for might as well. It's, it's just super speed. If you care about damage at all with your powers uh, or as, as your play style or your character, uh, you have to be super speed movement. And super speed movement is just heads and tails above every, like flight, skimming, acrobatics. It's not even close in, in terms of the actual um, beneficial powers. You've got Durish, you've got phase dodge, dash attack. Cyclone pushes a grid uh, for, for might. Tornado pull obviously is huge for prec, a single target. You've got vortex trap. Uh, it's just every single power is good. Speed drain is a good might supercharge. So it's you got every single power except like you know metabolic boost uh, is good for for super speed. Uh, and you can't say the same for flight skimming and, and uh, acrobat. So a little bit sidetrack, but uh, you'll see pretty much 99% of all prec DPS are going to be super speed movement. Uh, in terms of weapons, uh, obviously you're just going to be maxing a bow, taking smoke bomb, which means you have to max out uh, martial arts as well. Now, in terms of loadouts, uh, we're doing Time Bomb, uh, Clip with Warp Reality. Warp Reality is the weapon buff. And then you, I'll show it in a rotation. It, can, it won't make a lot of sense right now. But basically, you're using Dervish and Vortex Trap uh, to basically clip uh, the final uh, dovetail animation of Smoke Bomb to speed it up a little bit. And because Dervish and Vortex Trap can both be uh, weapon tap canceled or uh, jump canceled in, in terms of Vortex Trap, it makes it really smooth uh, and very quick. And then Robot Sidekick, obviously, for just some extra melee damage and Neo Venom Boost being the supercharge. Uh, so in terms of actual gear spec, because I'm kind of jumping around here, uh, the, it's obviously going to be bow with blast adapter. Head mods always going to have war, uh, critical warp reality. Neck mods always going to be relentless precision. Back mod, you want accelerated warp reality uh, for faster weapon buff. Chest mod, penetrating strikes. A leg mod doesn't matter. Hand mod uh, is going to be max damage. In terms of artifacts, um, I don't have a third precision artifact. So ideally, you'd want the Venomous Suspenser. You'd want the Grimorium artifact uh, because, uh, as you saw, the Might, the Grimorium artifact is one of the most important artifacts there is for Quantum because Quantum suffers from like a PI setup problem. But a lot of the powers benefit so greatly from the PI, especially for uh, Prec and Might alone. So you definitely 100% want this artifact, ideally at 160 for Quantum especially. But it's a great precision artifact anyway because it gives you the 4% prec. Uh, for the third one, ideally you'd want like Sparring AI or the Cog. Um, the, there's another one I'm forgetting about. Sparring, yeah, Sparring AI would be 5%. Uh, the Cog, I think that's it. Is it? Can't remember. Whatever. Yeah, ideally you want a third precision artifact. Uh, that's that's the the case, and then you could swap it out for if you got to use Neo Venom Boost. But uh, it's just you're missing a lot of prec without that third prec artifact, because obviously um, Gemini just has three percent prec, where the Cog and Sparring would have five. In terms of artifacts, doesn't really matter. Uh, Shadow Bat, um, the regular DPS trinket, Orbital Spy Drop. Now, in terms of stats, uh, I'm not uh, precision spec anymore. I might spec, uh, so this is why I have the lower precision. So in my testing, I will be taking a flex odor. So I'll just kind of take that here and show the stats there. It's 24.8. Now, if you saw my previous video uh, with Gadget's Guide, uh, my prec is sitting at like 26k prec because I'm prec spec there. I'm missing 2% prec from the affinity mods as well as on my generator mod. So the reason I'm taking Flex Odor here is to get a little bit more realistic numbers in terms of prec because obviously I don't have a third prec artifact and I'm not prec spec. So, you know, testing at 24, 24.8 prec, barely 25, not even 25k prec. Uh, the numbers are a little bit more realistic to what base prec is now, which is around, if you're max geared, you're seeing it around 26 prec um, or higher. So that's why I'm taking Flex Odor here for this testing just to give a little bit more realistic number wise. Uh, but that's why, because it's just, other than that, it would just be lower numbers for the sake of lower numbers, because I'm a purely might spec uh, DPS now. 
Now, the other thing as well, uh, I'm going to suffer a little bit. Quantum CC is super annoying on the sparring target, so for sparring target uh, testing purposes, I'm running the Elite Vendor head instead of the, deep, uh, the, the OP head, just so it doesn't CC, because uh, the, losing the 12th um, 1,254 dominance puts me below the dominance cap on the sparring target, so they don't move. Uh, so I'm losing 95 extra prec there as well, so basically all the tests you'll see will be at the 24 676 prec. So let's uh, get into the actual rotation here, and then you'll see what I was talking about with Dervish and Vortex Trap making a little bit more sense. Okay, you guys get the idea there. I messed up the uh, vor you, the vortex trap can be a little bit annoying sometimes uh, because the the dervish you have to weapon tap cancel. I know it's not completely clear when I'm doing that rotation, but uh, the weapon the whirling dervish you just weapon tap cancel and then go back into smoke bomb. The vortex trap you have to jump clip, so it can be um, you can't just weapon tap cancel it. And you have to make sure you don't do them early enough to cancel the smoke bomb damage itself. So you basically have to wait for the smoke and you see the prec numbers, then do it. Uh, so it, it's it'll take some getting used to, but as you can see, obviously, um, you know that was 52k at 22.7%, uh, 48 at 15, 49 at 19, and this is only at 24.6k at, uh, prec. So I, I'm nowhere near max prec. Max prec is well over 26k prec. I'm uh, not well over, but uh, definitely over 26k. Uh, so with proper artifacts, you know, proper precision, you know, these 52, 48, 49, those are all in the 50s to 60 range. Uh, it can all be easily manageable uh, with the actual rotation, like even if I go back into it here. So it's, um, we'll kind of explain it here. It, it's something you have to actually practice to get used to. So basically you're just doing Warp Reality Clip, you know, Smoke Bomb, wait for the animation to hit. Then you're basically doing Dervish, Weapon Tap, Cancel, into it. And then obviously I just messed it up there in front of you. <laughs> but then Warp Text Trap, you know, Dervish, whatever. So even just messing around, it, that was the 50k. <laughs> so if, if I didn't, you know, screw up there, that 50k turns into closer to a 60 because obviously I was just messing around. But it's just something you have to get a little bit used to. So basically, smoke bomb as smoke bomb hits, dervish weapon tap cancel back into smoke bomb, then vortex, and then you're going to smoke bomb again. So vortex is the one you have to jump clip. So vortex going into smoke bomb, and then dervish you just weapon tap cancel. So it's one of those things where it's really hard to explain it in the video, but once you actually do it on the uh, sparring target, you get a little more used to it. Uh, but that's how it is for precision. Um, once again, since it, it, you know you know I mean using quantum moves is because the super speed uh, super speed movement tree is just so powerful for prec. Um, this is just the best way to do it. If you're not super speed, you can still you know do you can still be a cure wave. You could be you know sonic uh, sonic cry. You could use gravity bomb. So it's not like you have to be super speed. It's just that super speed is just uh, much more efficient for uh, this type of rotation. But uh, yeah, just get on the sparring targets, play around with it, uh, and that's what you're doing essentially are to max out your, your damage. And even just me with messing around, there's a 50k, um, and then obviously 52, 48, 49. So it's still a very heavy hitting hard rotation for a prec melee. Okay, so in terms of uh, quantum precision single target, nothing really complicated with this one. It's really straightforward. Obviously, the spec is the exact same as melee, uh, weapon expert, attack chance, damage, precision, burst of might and power. Uh, the only thing that difference is the weapons. Now you're maxing out dual wheel tree and taking. Uh, I would recommend taking flare shot and explosive shot just in case there's like a boss fight that has a little bit of AOE. You can do something besides uh, just single target, so it's just handy to take the second one as well. Uh, and then because of that, you need to max out bow. So in terms of the loadout. Um, this is what differs a little bit. Some people may have Tornado Pull, like a super speed. Uh, tornado Pull has the higher base damage and the higher crit chance. But the difference is, as Quantum Lift has the, the PI back into it. Uh, so as you can saw, um, in terms of artifacts, you're still running the Gnorium. Uh, and because of this one, if you go Quantum, 
is graviton charged. So basically, graviton charged. I'll just set it up here on the eight target. So if I you know proc the pet, now it's graviton charge. If I do lift, now I have dots on all the targets that are around uh, that target. So just by hitting lift. So lift lift itself is still single target. It still has a very high crit chance. It's very similar to tornado pull, just not as strong. Uh, but it's still the base damage is very good on it. But the advantage is, like say you're doing tile on, on SGE, something like that. If there's any targets around your 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 actual boss target, now you have the PI active from the, the, uh, the book artifact, the grim artifact. And now you're getting all that extra damage from the dots taking on them. So that's why lift wins out over tornado pull in, in terms of uh, precision loadout. Other than that, it's really not much different. Anomaly, uh, quantum tunneling, just you can do that clip if you need to, or just, you know, um, if you need to move it all, you just clip anomaly, get the little tiny bit dot, but it's just for supercharge generation. Then you got robot attack for some extra range damage, Neo Venom boost, but uh, you're, all you're doing is basically just lift warp reality and then just flare shots. Um, quantum single target uh, doesn't get too crazy like compared to like gadgets and some other abilities. It's basically you're just doing, you know, your typical flare shot rotation, which we'll get into here. And you get the idea with that rotation there, uh, 26.9, 25, 22 because I sucked and there was only 11% crit chance, so nothing crit, uh, 26. So once again with the quantum single target rotation, it's just, you know, it's all flurry shot. So the better you are with the flurry shot, the more damage you do. Uh, and then you're just mixing anomaly clip with uh, quantum tunneling just for some extra little bit of dot damage and then for some supercharge generation. But uh, that's quantum single target uh, is pretty much straightforward. So in terms of quantum controlling, nothing has changed from the previous guide. In terms of spec, it's still going to be a hybrid spec. You're still maxing out critical power chance, still maxing out critical power magnitude, putting as many skill points as you can into might and power to maintain your debuff and supercharge generation rotation, and then putting the rest of the skill points into VIT. In terms of weapons, you're just taking hand blasters far enough to down to take solar flame. Uh, iconic powers, nothing's really necessary. You can take Amazon Deflections in case it's ever needed, but most likely it's not. Uh, same thing with sweep speed. You could take dash attack if it's ever needed, but most likely it's not. You can take the resistance ones if you'd like. In terms of loadout, uh, still going to be always anomaly with your supercharge generator and your heal debuff. Uh, clip with the recharge, uh, and then we've got singularity, which is your defense debuff and your secondary CC move. Warp barrage is the only attack debuff you can run. Uh, Cure wave has way too much of annoying of a CC on effect on it for the DPS and the tank, so it's just not necessary, and it's not max range. Quantum tunneling obviously is going to be your teleport shield and your immunity. You got time bubble, which is your secondary shield, and then vent horizon obviously is your supercharge. Uh, so in terms of the rotation, it's just going to be solar flame in between all the debuffs. So solar flame, you know, first clip, solar flame second, solar flame third, and then solar flame hang for a second, and then restart. And that's all you're doing the entire time. This rotation maxes out your supercharge generation. It maxes out your um, debuffs as well. So you always have debuffs up. You always have supercharge generation going on. In terms of artifacts, it's still going to be Parasite, Power Harness, Soul Cloak, and Amulet of Rao. Uh, these give you the three best combination for controlling at the moment. Uh, you've got the Parasite, Power Harness, which gives you an extra power pool and extra precision for DPS out there. Soul Cloak obviously maxes out your supercharge and your generator return. And then Amulet is the extra debuff and debuff strength. Uh, weapon's always going to be Replenishing Adapter, the head mod, uh, it's obviously going to be Supercharged Eventorized, and you just have to change it. Neck mod's always going to be Replenishing Procs, 
Uh, back mod, once again, doesn't really matter. Uh, chest mod, power efficiency always. Uh, leg mod, once again, doesn't matter. I think there's a uh, restorative quantum tunneling, but it doesn't scale well at all, so don't worry about it. Uh, hand mod, max damage. In terms of trinkets, um, the vit trinket from the summer event's nice because it gives a little bit of power return. You obviously got the regular vit trinket. Uh, you've got the whatever orbital and spa drop, whatever you like. You can run the CC trinket if you like. You can run like sidekick for a little bit extra power back as well. That's your choice. And then obviously, so it would be bottle city, so it would be ideal because it restores uh, five percent of your max power to the group. So it's nice because the you got the parasite harness buffing your power as well as you already have max power pool from the uh, skill point and from the generator mods. So then you get a nice little power return as well from that bottle city soda being at rank. Um, whatever rank 8. But that's controlling there for you.